Nigerian singer Simi apologizes to the LGBT community over her homophobic comments. So, um, I think months back on her show on YouTube, she mm. said something that wasn't sitting well. That, well, that wasn't sensitive for that the community. That being gay or being it's an homosexual natural. is not natural. Mm. Mm. And that is not being scientifically proven. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that the people... Has it? rock is she living in? Of course it has. Okay, all right. Okay, so on this one... I'm not going to lie, I'm one of those people that um, when it comes to the context of Nigeria, I'm not saying that if I leave the shores of this country right now, I will be against the LGBT community. But in Nigeria, yeah, I guess. Uh. But in Nigeria, I won't be able to relate or understand it because it's not part of the culture. Why? Wait, wait, hold on. She has gone to culture is, again. Is, Stay with yeah. the law. Stay with law. Yeah, it's, culture, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not part of my culture. It's not legal in my country. So I would not openly, with open arms, say, oh, I welcome the LGBT um, well, if you go abroad, you would do that. Yeah, because it's part, it's legal over there. It's part of their, I wouldn't say it's part of their culture, but it's legal. They walk freely. They so LGBTQ all of that. life matters abroad, but not in Nigeria. That's not, no, you know what? I'm just, I'm making trouble, sorry. Okay, trouble accepted. But um, I wouldn't say I would understand it. I wouldn't be like, if I see a member of the LGBT community, I would probably, I won't be homophobic towards you. I won't probably um, do some slurs or say some nasty things, as long as you don't bring it close to me, but I would not totally be accepting or, mm. or, 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 or accepting or supportive of your action, lifestyle. of your lifestyle, but it doesn't mean I hate you. It doesn't mean I won't be able to relate with you. It doesn't mean we can't have a conversation. It doesn't mean you can't sit next to me. Do you understand? But the moment you bring it to me, I'll probably be the first to call the police. Do you understand? But um, when I saw Simi's post, I became humbled in our words as well. Because she said, and it, sometimes some things have to come close to home for you to really understand it. She said she saw someone almost killed because of their involvement in the LGBT community. You know, when you see such things firsthand, and you realize that this person breathes just like me. Mm. This person bleeds just like me. This person goes to the toilet. This person just, hasn't hurt anyone. This person hasn't yeah. done anything. This, just, this person just has a different sexual orientation. And this person is almost murdered. Mm. We even have sympathy for and robbers when you mm. see them being linked with mm. jungle justice. You understand? Mm. We have some like, come on, man. Now, now, tiffy, tiff. Mm. Can he just be handed over to the police? You mm. get, we have such sympathy. Not to not look at somebody that hasn't really done anything life threatening mm. to anybody mm -hmm. and is getting violated in such mm. a manner. Of course, it would touch anyone. I haven't seen such a scenario where somebody is being beaten for oh, their it sexual. Happens a lot. No, but I haven't seen it yeah, firsthand. But yeah. she has seen it mm. and she was on board. And when I thought about when I read that post, I was like, wow, it takes mm. you to actually see these things to Empathy. understand where these people are coming from. So I kind of got it. Yeah. And I just want to say if I've also said anything, you know, mm. um, disturbing to the LGBT community or inconsiderate, even mm. in Nigeria, abroad, wherever, I'm totally sorry because mm. you're human. We may not understand. I may not understand because that's not my sexual orientation, but mm. it's yours and it's your belief. It's what you want to do is what makes you happy. So and I think everybody deserves that. That's just the bottom line. So I appreciate how Simi put this out there. The apology was apt. It was on mm. point and everything. So big yeah. shout out to her for this uh, one. Yeah, agreed. I like that she posted that. One thing I wanted to address was if it was, it could be natural. Um, there's been many, 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 many evidences of the of being homosexual even in other animal kingdoms so if you want to say something natural then look at that if we've never seen like let's say an ape walking on its head and you start to see an ape walking on its head then you say something is unnatural but if you start to see that it's in other elements um of life i'll even argue well from what god has revealed to me based on his creation i don't think he's that binary with sexuality because he's made people who have vaginas and penises together in the same body which are hermaphrodite so i don't for me it is extremely natural it's not just natural for me personally because i don't i'm not wired that way and i wasn't born that way but that's obviously for me to even go and look for that type of knowledge it's because i'm interested in being that unbiased to find answers you see men who have very little testosterone can't grow chest hair they are not even like let me say man enough and you see women with muscles and everything so there's diversity in sexuality based on creation from god period that's my opinion so just answer that question for her that she made in the video 
But coming to her, her message, I really liked the write-up. I liked how she also acknowledged that sometimes, because you can, you, can, uh, you can say things like you, even accepting of her, her, of her theory. Somebody could look at it and say, I still don't want that life, and don't bring in me, and I'll say what I want to say is my opinion. But the problem with those type of opinions, which she mentioned in that note that I feel like was so important, is that your opinion can be um, contributing to the... Prejudice. oppression of another person so if i keep saying like if a white person keeps saying no black people steal too much no black people that's just my opinion black people have stolen from me and like it's your truth or whatever it's your opinion but if you keep on perpetrating that opinion out loud mm. what you're doing you might you might not think it matters but it's adding to the drop of the ocean that's already there and you're perpetrating the ills that's already happening to another person so i like that she called herself out on that and so it's i don't think everyone needs to understand like even the decisions i make who i'm attracted to as in the man mm. i'm even attracted to some girls can understand that mm. so i don't think it's your job to necessarily understand where they're coming from why they're like that but i think every single person like you mentioned deserves respect deserves a level of like dignity given to them on based on how they want to live their lives now it's up to you now to then um keep your own thing to it so same thing i said about Black, big brother niger oh my children are not going to watch it that's fine tailor your life but leave other people to do their own things hmm. i like how you talked about understanding and i mean for what it is it might be really difficult for some people to understand the concept of um the sexual orientation that comes into that community but what I like in her write-up for me is the fact that she acknowledged that she is willing and ready to, to learn. learn and understand what exactly they feel. She might not get there 100%, but whatever it is she saw or experienced have given her that will to say, I want to be able to understand these people. I want to be able to relate with them. Mm. It doesn't mean you have to now become them mm. or that you have to be gay or bisexual mm. or anything. It just means that you want to accept them as human beings and understand that their own choices are valid as well. So... As much as, yes, in Nigeria, it's not legal and all that. It's, I, I don't think it's also legal in Nigeria to lynch anyone. Mm. I don't think it's also legal mm. in Nigeria to kill someone for even killing someone. It's mm. not your job. You're supposed to hand them over to the to proper God. authorities, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, we need to have that at the back of our mind. Even when we're talking about, oh, our religion, this, our religion, that. Understand that your religion is just one out of hundreds it's of religion really, in the yeah. whole world. And nobody has come out to tell you your religion is the one that must go to heaven. Everybody mm. thinks that their religion is the best and it's going mm. to heaven. Mm. So just do you, do your belief, let people live their own lives as long as they're not bringing it to you like if it has rightly said, mm. basically. So I think that's it for me. And kudos to Simi. She, she handles almost everything perfect. And yeah. It's She's just really amazing to see. Yeah. yeah. I think it also... She'll be a great mother. Mm, I hope so. I hope so too. I, so I remember so. somebody saying on Twitter that what if your daughter mm? <laughs> has gay tendencies or how you um, respond to that. I think another thing is That's that... That's another conversation, yes, actually, but yeah. Because I, I know... I know if, that a lot of people who are progressive, they I feel like sometimes it, the the standard is a bit too high for them because people came at her a bit too harsh because Simi is supposed to be the one that's like really progressive and knows all the liberal thinking and things like that. But I don't think everyone is aware. So even some things in the LGBTQ, even though as much as I'm an ally, there's some things in the LGBTQ community that I'm like I don't understand. But then I keep on thinking, is this really my place? To understand is it my play what, what is my role there if it's if i don't feel 100 percent convinced i might not support but i have to make sure that i'm not part of the problem either and I, I, that goes for just in any other thing so i like that people are also giving her the space to make mistakes and grow like mm -hmm. you mentioned yeah because people your faith can say something really disappointing i can say something that's super disappointing but the grace to be able to do that with it, it another thing important. i admire is the fact um, that she's able to take back her words and actually accept that I made a mistake and I'm out here and I'm learning, I'm human. You get not a lot of celebrities who be like, ah, I don't talk him, I don't talk him, yeah. it's months ago. But she still came back to address it following an experience she recently had. A lot of people won't do that. So I think it takes a lot of humility and a lot of willingness to change. And maybe she also needs to start to look at, stup what's the name of the stupid session? Stupid mm -hmm. session more carefully. Even the way she looks and the way she comes to the stage, I think she's quite like elastical about it. And that's a vibe on its yeah, own. It's that's stupid. nice. I think that's but, a then, vibe. but then I think you need to also, this for me would make me want her to think, should you maybe be more careful and maybe think about what you want to say? 
before you say it out loud because now the platform is getting bigger people are watching and people are holding your word seriously yeah, so but maybe then regardless i don't think we need to put that level of pressure on that show if not it will now become we something that is tailored yeah. to be politically correct Thank the you. fact that Asimi is making this mistake and correcting her mistake is the reason so, a lot of people yeah, are also so let us mistake so i think they should come as natural and if there's a conversation that starts from that natural self of theirs mm. then we can correct each other and well, learn which is why i like the idea yeah anything, of course she doesn't do fine. that anyway mm. so which is why i like the idea of you talking about we need to move beyond the cancel culture like we mm. are humans we don't know it all we cannot know it all so there needs to be room to learn and um if we now see that this one does not want to learn and you don't want to like you don't really care then maybe we can start thinking of that cancel culture mm. maybe you see one tweet of someone <laughs> trying to cancel report culture will you work in nigeria <laughs> see someone trying to report a person to his company i realize that he's the owner of the company anyway mm. so at the end of the day we just need to do better i think so yeah. yep yep yep